Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm Tania and I am from Mexico. I have been living here already for like around six to seven years and there's a lot of things that I believe that have changed on me. I mean, of course, everybody changed uh, with the past of the years, like with the past of the time. We all change and become different persons from what we were, let's say, five years ago. We mature, uh, etc. But when you live in another country, you also change and things that you used to do or things that you didn't used to do uh, change on your life. <laughs> so here are some things that have changed uh, on my persona ever since I started living in Finland or, or after I started living in Finland. One of the first things that I immediately noticed, well, not immediately, but now that I think about it, I can think about this first, <laughs> is the time. I am from Mexico and of course, as you know, or like there's like a big stereotype of Mexican people being late all the time. And I don't blame you. And, and I, I think we Mexicans really, really are late all the time. Uh, but you know, in Mexico, it is like a cultural thing. Like if you say that you're gonna meet a person, like if you're gonna meet a friend at four o'clock, it's, it's known without like spoke, being spoken that you're going to be there like half an hour later. So in Finland, if you ever do that, it will actually be rude to the other person not to show up at the time that you are supposed to. So yeah, that's something I have definitely, definitely noticed on my behavior and on my persona that my, my time um, perspective has changed. Like I'm, I like to be early nowadays and I like to be on time. Something that was like super weird for me when I came here well, it was just like this one comment uh, from one of my host parents that when I was an exchange student, one of my host families noticed how I was having my music all the time as a teenager, you know, like you have your music with you like everywhere, your mp3 and stuff. And one of the places that I used to take my music to was the sauna. Of course, like for me, it was like the sauna, have like, you know, like a time to relax and have like my nice, nice music, you know, like some rock in there, some pop. And my, no, my, my, my father, uh, my host father noticed that. And then he came to me one day and he, he asked me like, you know, Tanya, in Finland, we appreciate the silence. Uh, and then he explained me all this about like silence is gold. Um, so I was quite like not understanding what he's saying. I was like, but why would you like to be silent on, to have silence on, on the sauna? And now, five years later, I can actually say I understand why. <laughs> I have learned myself uh, to enjoy the silence and just to like be by myself sometimes like on the sauna and then just like listening to the the sound of the steam of the lolu and i think that's something that has also changed on me that now i also like i have learned how to appreciate the silence and i didn't do that before something awful that has changed on my brain and well i'm trying to like practice on that right now it's the way i read spanish and that's like really really bad like I mean, I live in Finland and now that I was in Mexico, I really got to practice my Spanish again. But I don't speak Spanish in a daily basis and with my husband, we always speak English. So when I went back to Mexico or sometimes when I'm reading a book in Spanish, then I tend to change the words into Finnish. Like I read Spanish in Finnish way. Polo. I read pollo as polo. Pollo in Spanish means chicken. What is like chicken, and you will just say pollo. But like I remember just being on the on the street, we were walking, and there was like this big advertisement of chicken, 
and then I like start reading like polo something and I'm like what what polo like polo polo like playing or something and then I was like ah oh, pollo yeah that's right or ahora then ahora is like now but then back then I was just reading like ahora ahora like ahora ahora what is ahora like just let me think what it was ahora, ahora. Like, of course that doesn't exist in Spanish. So my brain has somehow changed and then like sometimes I read Spanish in a Finnish way and that's really really bad. Another thing that I guess that has changed on me is my tolerance to alcohol. Uh, to be honest when I was in Mexico I did not drink that much alcohol. In fact, I probably only drink alcohol during the Christmas holidays when like, you know, parents can like give you some cider and stuff like that. Uh, but in general, um, I started drinking more when I came to Finland and my tolerance was zero to one cider uh, per night. Like I could really get tipsy after like half a beer uh, or cider because I don't really like beer. However, nowadays I can proudly say that I can take three beers, two to three beers, <laughs> okay? That will be like enough for me just to like already feel a little bit tipsy. But yeah, like I mean, I have increased my alcohol tolerance and that's something I will have probably not reached if I will not be in Finland since the drinking culture is pretty heavy here. <laughs> and the last thing that I consider it as the most important thing that has changed on me after living abroad for so many years is that my tolerance to other cultures uh, and my respect to other people has also increased. Um, I mean, even though I am from Mexico, I don't necessarily feel Mexican all the way. I remember my roots, I remember who I am every day and then I'm really grateful for all the knowledge and like growing in a country like Mexico. Uh, however, <clears throat> living in Finland for so many years have like gave me so much that I also feel very ad identified with Finnish culture nowadays. And I guess what I want to say is like, I just don't feel exactly, like I don't particularly feel part of any of the places. Like I don't feel either totally Mexican or I don't feel Finnish but I, I feel like I'm like a combination of both and I just don't feel like I belong anywhere but I belong here in this earth well there's a term for this and it's called cosmopolitan and cosmopolitan means like citizen of the world so I guess I feel like a citizen of the world because I have learned so many from so many things from different cultures and I don't believe on borders. Like I don't believe like we should be considered like different races. And I feel like we should be considered like just one race, like we're like the human race. And and I think that's one of the biggest things I have learned after living in a, another country for many years. So Thank you for watching the video and if you have any type of feelings or if you have ever lived in another country and you feel the same, let me know in the comments down below and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.